Tonight we're learning that an Ellicott City native was one of the three Navy officers killed in a training crash in eastern Washington. Lieutenant Valerie Delaney was a naval aviator who graduated from the Naval Academy just a few years ago. Robert Lyles spoke to Delaney's mother. He's in our satellite center now with more on her life. Robert. Well, Allison, everyone in Ellicott City knew her as Valerie Capillaire. Now, her family tells me today it has been just 48 hours since the fighter jet she piloted crashed during a training mission. So they don't know what happened. What they do know, their daughter wanted nothing more than to be a naval pilot. She would call us almost every day, and we knew, you know, from flight to flight, whether it was good or bad. Doreen Capillaire says her 26-year-old daughter, Lieutenant Junior Grade, Valerie Capillaire Delaney, had been training for months in a fighter jet similar to this. The EA-6B Prowler. It jams the electrical equipment of attacking aircraft. The previous call was not a good call, but that call Saturday was a really good call. That's because Capillaire, who just celebrated her one year wedding anniversary in February, had been training at night using night vision goggles. It was intense. She was extremely frustrated because she was that close to finishing up. The 2009 Naval graduate's next and final training step was to learn to land on a fighter carrier. But Monday morning, shortly after takeoff in Washington State, Lieutenant Capillaire's jet slammed into a field. This is going to be a rough one for me, you guys. <laughs> At Ellicott City's Centennial High School, where Capillaire was an academic and athletic standout. She is my benchmark. The news of her tragic death is hitting her high school advisor hard because they knew Capillaire lived for the Naval Academy. She did so many things to get in. She did a year at a prep school. Capillaire's younger sister spoke with her just hours before her last flight. She was asking me what I wanted for my birthday, which is coming up at the end of March, and that just, you know, just shows how she's always thinking about other people. Now, the family goes on to tell me that Lieutenant Capillaire Delaney's Prowler jet is actually scheduled to be phased out next year. In fact, in an interesting twist, the lieutenant's husband is training on the newer version of that jet. Right now, the family is preparing for a burial at Arlington Cemetery. Live in the Satellite Center, I'm Robert Lyles, ABC 7 News. Okay.